okay how about this one uh, number uh, four so here f prime will be uh, by the way before I find out the f prime what I want to do is I want to simplify this okay I have to simplify and write in the uh, formula ready form meaning that you, so that we can I can use the formula directly how much is this you can write 7 over x to the positive 1 half right but this formula says that you need to have everything in the numerator to use the formula right so I want to move this so if I move this what happens it will, it will be 7 x to the negative 1 half right that move to the top and if you move the bottom term on the top the exponent will be changed by its sign and this will stay the same and how about that one plus the 5 times x to the negative 1 that's what happens right you see that so this will stay the same that 7 over uh, root x becomes 7 times x to the negative 1 half now I want to find out f prime after that so what is f prime it will be 7 times it is like x to the n right so negative 1 half to the x times x to the negative 1 half minus 1 n x n minus 1 right and then minus 3 what is the duty of sine x is cosine x cosine x and then plus there is 5 right 5 and then the derivative of x to the negative 1 will be negative 1 times x to the negative 1 minus 1 you see that now if you simplify you will get a negative 7 over 2 x to the negative 3 half you see that minus 3 cosine x and then minus 5 why because there is 5 times negative 1 is minus 5 and x to the negative 2 now if you want to write the nicer form that will become because this negative exponent we don't want to keep the negative exponent so you need to move this to the bottom right and move this to the bottom that will look like negative 7 over 2 x to the 3 half right and then minus 3 cosine x and then minus 5 over x square so you can write that way okay but if you want to be even nicer this term that x to the uh, 3 half can be written as 2 and then square root of x cubed you can write that form negative 7 over 2 and then x, x to, uh, square root of x cubed. why because that 2 in the denominator of the exponent goes inside that angle that there but if there is two you don't have to write two it is called square root okay all right so let us do another example that has that has f y equals to 4 over 3x to the negative 2 so how do I write that let us rewrite this you can write 4 since everything has the uh, negative exponent I want to move this to the top that will be 3x to the positive 2 right so you can write this as 4 times uh, 3x squared is 3x times 3x that is 9x squared that is basically 36x squared that is the rewrite form right 36x squared because 9 times 4 is 36 and then times x squared now if you want to differentiate this 36 times what is the derivative of x squared that let me write y prime okay so that is y prime equals to 36 times the derivative of x squared is 2x to the 2 minus 1 so th this is basically if you write the simplified form that will be basically 72x because x to the 2 minus 1 is just x to the 1 right that's that's what you get okay next example is if fx is 8x plus 1 square then find f prime of x at 0 1 you will find out f prime of x first and then you plug in x equals to 0 and y equals to 1 if there is any y so what you get here is f of x equals to let me write this in the simplified form that is like 8x plus 1 times 8x plus 1 why do I need to simplify because there is no formula that has like some number times x plus 1 and then square we have just x to the n but there is not just x to the n there is ax plus b type of form right there is 8 and then 1 also so you can use that formula directly so you need to simplify so that will become uh, 8x times 8x is 64x squared plus 8x times 1 is 8x plus 1 times 8x is 8x also so 8x plus 8x will be 16x plus 1 times 1 is 1 this is fx now I want to find out f prime of x so let me write down that f prime of x will become 
64 that is constant now find out the degree of x square is 2x right it is 2x 2 minus 1 that will give you 2x plus 16 times the derivative of x is 1 right plus 1 times 0 uh, so the derivative of 1 is 0 so you can write that is 128x plus 16 but you want to find out f prime of x at x equals to 0 right so what you do f prime at 0 x equals to 0 is just replace that by 0 so 128 times 0 is 0 plus 16 so the final answer is 16 that's what you get also example number 7 so what how do i find out the derivative there is a numerator and denominator right we don't have the quotient rule we don't have formula if there is x in the denominator and x in the numerator only the formula we have is x to the n only so how do i do you split the denominator so you can write f of x okay by the way see on this example and this example also these examples we find out the derivative after you simplify only after you write in the form that you can use the formula directly you first write down in that form and then use the derivative formula okay so what i want to do is i want to write x cubed over x squared right minus 4x squared over x squared and then plus 5 over x squared so what is what is left so x cubed over x squared you cancel with that so x and then x squared and x squared will cancel out minus 4 plus 5 times x to the negative 2 i move that to the top so that i can use the formula directly now what will be f prime of x then here i didn't find the derivative i rewrite the function fx okay now i found out the derivative what is the derivative of x is 1 minus derivative of uh, uh, 4 is 0 and then plus 5 times derivative of x to the negative 2 is it is like x to the n right so it is like n negative 2 and then x negative 2 minus 1 that will become 1 minus 10 because this this is gone right so 5 times negative 2 is minus 10 x to the negative 3 so that can be written as 1 minus 10 over x cubed so this is the final form of the answer you see that so when you write down the answer in your online homework your online homework may be picky about uh, which answer do you plug in okay so you can try plugging in this first and then if it says wrong and then you can try plugging in the simplified form okay so I think you can try three times or five times I don't remember so you can plug in answer three times or five times until you get right answer so uh, you, you will not be penalized okay but after if you try more than five times then that answer will dis that question will disappear and you will have to practice a problem similar problem and then a different problem will show up instead of that problem okay so you can try four or five times i think i think three times if not five times you can try that for uh, without penalty now i want to find out the y prime of this function okay let me write down in the uh, simplified form t to the one half right and then plus seven t to the one third right because how do I write? There is one in the exponent of t that goes in the denominator of that exponent and then minus t to the three half. Now if you find out the derivative then that will be one half t to the one half minus one. Okay. This is function of t. It's, this y is basically f t, function of t. That's why when you find the derivative we find out with respect to t okay so this is like t to the n so you use that formula n t n minus one if there is x you do n x n minus one if there is t you do n t n minus one and then plus seven times one third and then t to the one third minus one minus and then three half t to the three half minus one what do you get this is like one half t to the negative one half plus seven over three t to the negative two third one third minus one is two third minus three half and then t to the three half minus one is one half right now since there are negative exponent you want to move that to the denominator one over two and then t to the one half plus seven over three t to the two third minus seven, three over two t to the one half so you can enter this uh, this answer or if uh, the web sign doesn't like this you can write 1 over 2 root t right because root t is t to the 1 half and then plus 7 over 3 
and then cube root of t square, right? And then minus 3 half, you can write 3 over 2, and then that is root t on the top, right? Root t. So you can you can simplify your answer that way so that you can get the uh, get the final form uh, that the website like okay next is there is 10 over sine x minus 3 cosine x over cotangent x how do i do that let us simplify what is 10 over sine x this is like 10 times 1 over sine x what is 1 over sine x it's cosecant x right because cosecant is reciprocal of sine I haven't found out the derivative yet, okay? I'm just simplifying, minus three, this is cosine of x, right? And divide by cotangent is cosine of x divided by sine of x. So if you simplify this, you will get cosine x, so it, it'll look like this. Uh, so just this term, okay? If I simplify that term, you will write cosine of x over one times sine x over cosine of x, and cosine x, cosine x will cancel out. So basically this is three sine x, okay? So y equals to 10 cosecant x minus 3 sine x. Okay, now find out the y prime. What is the derivative of cosecant x? 10 is there. Cosecant x has derivative negative cosecant x cotangent x, right? So uh, let me write down that negative sign at the front. Cosecant uh, cscx times cotangent x minus 3. What is the derivative of sine x? Derivative of sine x is cosine of x there. So cosine of x. That's it. Now the uh, the last example on this page is basically find the equation of tangent line and y equals to that. What is the equation of tangent line? Y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1. So x1 and y1 are given. x1 and y1 are given. We need m. But what is m? m is the, uh, the derivative, right? So at 1 comma 0. So let us find out uh, the m equals to f prime of x or basically basically y prime right so what is the negative 9 times 4 x to the 4 minus 1 right plus 11 times 2 x to the 2 minus 1 and then minus 0 right so m at x equals to 1 m is basically negative 36 because that is replaced by 1 to the third right because that value is 3, 1 to the third, it's just 1. Plus 11 times 2 is 22, times 1 is 22. So your m is negative 36 plus 22 is negative 14. So what is the equation of the tangent line then? y minus y1 is 0, because that is x1, y1, equals to negative 14 times x minus 1, right? So if you simplify this, you'll get y equals to negative 14x plus 14. That is the final equation of the final answer for equation of the tangent line so we will uh, basically see some more examples okay